Greetings, followers. This is John Demokis, a.k.a. Half Man, Half Cichlid. Today I'm going to talk to you about an exciting and very important topic, and controversial one at that, and that is uh, uh, filter media. I've basically tried and tested all the media that are, that are out there and collaborated with uh, other colleagues, other Aquarians with a science background testing them for their effectiveness in the uh, nitrogen cycle, their uh, ease of maintenance, and their det detritus holding capacity. So it's very important, as we all know, to have an ammonia-free, nitrite-free uh, environment. So uh, again, this is an extremely important area. In my experience, all strategies and approaches for denitrification that include you know, anoxic beds, porous media, uh, deep bed substrates, biosinosis filters I've tried and they have failed and they've also failed in the experiments of uh, others I've uh, collaborated with. Uh, there's very little supportable data on filter media effectiveness and we'll talk about the uh, some great data uh, from David Bogart in, in a second. Uh, there's, as we all know too, there's dozens of uh, products from manufacturers to reduce uh, nitrates, dozens if not hundreds. None work in my experience. Uh, when requested, I have not been able to receive any data that is supportable uh, and that reflects good science and controlled experiments. And uh, to be quite frank, I consider denitrification products to be perhaps one of the uh, biggest ripoffs in the, uh, the aquarium uh, hobby. And uh, our efforts and our money, of course, are better placed elsewhere. In terms of uh, what I do, the old standbys, a sponge, foam, and pot scrubbies, I have found that they work the best and in the control experiments that I'll go through with you, uh, the experiments uh, uh, from David Bogart uh, support this and uh, uh, I find them to be uh, based on good science, the best that's available in evaluating the different media. So I'll give you a link to uh, David Bogart's uh, website which is uh, Aquarium Science. Uh, where he has posted his work and you can investigate it uh, yourself. Uh, you know, a comment, I don't think David is uh, beloved by the AmeriQuarium manufacturers because I think he's proven through its work that a significant number of the products sold by manufacturers either don't work or they work marginally uh, compared to some, uh, some easier and far less expensive options. So some examples of how I use uh, my preferred media, sponges and uh, pot scrubbies will be included in this video and I look forward to your comments and uh, questions and uh, uh, you know furthering the discussion on query media. Thank you. A few more uh, comments on some important slides that I skimmed through pretty quickly in the intro. Here's the uh, filter biomedia efficiency as uh, defined and discovered by uh, David Bogert. And you can see foam and pot scrubbies and K1 media are at the top. Now there's additional data in the uh, link I'll provide on how this was determined. But basically what was discovered in, uh, I believe, da David's work and others that I'm familiar with in mine is that uh, uh, many of the ceramic, biohome, matrix, lava rock products, although uh, decent in growing beneficial bacteria, they have a tendency to plug and for the water to bypass and flow over and through, not through, uh, the media.
thereby negating a lot of the surface area. As far as how I stack the, uh, the foam and the uh, pot scrubbies, here's a perfect example. This is an Eheim, large Eheim 2262 canister filter. Uh, it's stacked with first uh, 20 PPI red foam followed by in the middle sandwiched in the middle uh, the pot scrubbies followed by uh, 30 much finer 30 ppi perret foam and i've been able to get this uh, set up to last uh, 10 to 12 months between cleanings this is a 110 gallon sump supporting my 500 gallon uh, bowflux and bow front acrylic aquarium and the water flows from right to left, uh, goes through some pre-filter media initially before going through. Uh, I have a large uh, bag full of uh, pot scrubbies, followed by uh, uh, four layers of pour red foam going from uh, uh, 10 to 45 pores per square inch. So the, the filtration uh, gets... Uh, down to finer and finer particles as it progresses through the uh, sump. And lastly, this is a DIY hang on back filter that uh, uh, filters about uh, 1600 gallons per hour. Uh, I have a separate video on, on uh, how to make this thing. <clears throat> but in any event, uh, similar to the last two slides, I have uh, the uh, Perret foam stacked in this hang on back uh, filter with uh, each layer getting progressively uh, finer and finer porosity. I use uh, uh, filter floss and the top layer, which I change out every couple weeks. The rest of the filter basically doesn't need to be touched for about six months. I hope uh, this information was helpful, and again, look forward to your comments and inputs. Thank you.